How's it going my fellow wizards and witches? One Doctor Genius here and welcome to another Prodigy Arena Battle Session. Yes, you've heard that right. As you guys can see over here, I'm sitting on top of a nice 1,447 trophies. Yes, you heard that right, 1,447 trophies. In other words, I just need to do two battles and I'll be able to move myself over to this class over here where I will be at 15,000 battles. Wait, no, not 15,000 battles, but 15,000 arena points. And then I'll be able to unlock myself the first silver tier chest along with everything else that's remaining over here. So let's go to battle and see what Prodigy has in store for us or is it everything disappointment? Dude, this guy's just asking to be one-shotted. Like his entire team is gonna get... <laughs> Guys, I'm literally about to three. To, uh, guys, I'm literally about to three shot our opponent's team. Three or four shot our opponent's team. That's literally how I'm about to defeat this guy. You know, okay, maybe it's because they're in for new. This guy might be the only reason why I am not able to deal a lot of damage. But even then, it seems like the wizard might be a little bit of a hazard. So I will go ahead and cast a. What do you call this? Large area attack. So our opponents will only have two options. They can either heal up. Or they can try attacking us. Anyways, let's cast our supernova right over here, which should deal a quite a lot of damage to both of our opponents, right? Yeah. As you guys can see, the infinite is almost dead along with our opponent. They seem to be eating cake. Although that won't save them much now. Now look over here. We know that healing ourselves in this case would be fruitless. So I'd say that by I think it's best to go with Falling Star Smash. The rest of my pets do have a lot of shields, so they will be taking considerably less damage than what my wizard will be taking. And not only that, it's not like their our opponents can cast a multi- oh. Wow, this is going wonderfully well. It seems like our opponent even managed to miss their spell. Which is one of the best things to happen in an arena battle. And ta-da! Just like that, you guys can see we've casted another spell. And our opponent's health does once again drop to the floor. It seems like they're using some sort of potion or something. Okay, I do not understand why instead of healing they decide to use that. But then again, it's not the player, it's the AI. Remember, it's the AI which Prodigy chose which is doing these dumb dumb decisions. Because there's so many times in which the AI could have won if it had just like been like attack or multi-area attack. Okay, anyways, as you guys can see, now we're literally, we're just three trophies away from reaching the 15,000 battle points mark. So you guys can see, we're literally three trophies away. Let's just do another battle in which I will delete the opponents out of the existence of this planet with just a little bit of magic. So first of all, let's find a suitable opponent who will be actually one shot, who will be single tap deleted out of the existence of this planet. You know, fight it. Fi Ooh, okay. This guy over here seems to be an easy opponent. Anyways, let's head into battle over here. What I'm gonna do is I'm quickly gonna equip myself a very powerful damage bonus. Yeah, I want to deal additional damage, so I guess I'll go into my items and equip it. Like, where is it? Come on. Uh... Okay, so over here we have ourselves a damage bonus. Our opponent will, of course, cast their spell like this. But that isn't too much of a worry because they're about to lose their entire team in a single spell, in a single attack. We will be have casted another spell and now as you guys will see our opponent's team will regret their decision to even attack my wizard once. Because as you guys can see just like that we've done 10,000 damage to the rest of their team and I forgot that this guy has so much health but even then he seems to have the what do you call it? Uh, he seems to think that he will be able to kill my wizard with his basically less l like triple digit damage. You guys can see over here his damage isn't too good. He only he's only dealing damage thanks to his wand and stuff like no. See now over here we'll be casting our spell and wiping off another one two thirds of our opponent's health off the map and this guy is t getting me angry. This guy is getting on my nerves now, okay? Well, no biggie, we can just um, take down approximately one third of its health, one third, one, one third of our opponent's health in a single attack. And of course, not only that, but we can also heal up our entire team. So all of the progress which this guy seems to have made will be completely undone just like that. The entire team has healed itself back to full health again. Let's see how many times our you know this is one thing I hate like prodigy come on 
Look at this health that's insane. This guy's sitting here with like 50,000 health. If you expect me to get through this, this is gonna take me five attacks normally. Imagine if your opponent has 40,000 health and all of your ruins basically just give you only 4,000 attack. You'd have to cast over 10 spells just to defeat your single opponent. Anyways, with that out of the way, as you can see, our opponent's health has dropped into the very, uh, I would be careful digits type number you guys can see. We might actually be able to obliterate them quite quickly. Okay, anyways, you guys can see we're casting our spell over here, which does a hundred, uh, was that a hundred or ten thousand? Well, anyways, I didn't read it. You guys can see our wizard has somehow survived both battles in which the wizard was destined to be used as a sacrificial piece. Oh, but I guess that's not happening. And just like that, you guys can see we've cast our spell, which has finally finished off our opponents. So they have run away from the scene of the battle, and leaving behind them, they have left uh, their 50 battle trophies. And just like that, Silver 3 is ours. Yeah, yeah you guys can see we finally read Silver 3 over here. The flame light itself, and boom, Shakalaka, we're right over there. So let's start off with opening the chest first of all. So if we open the member chest right next to it, it seems like we get ourselves useless ruins. Something more useless. Oh, that's not too bad. I I'd say that's not too bad. Let's head over here and see what the silver tier chest has in store for us. Wow, that was complete garbage. Yeah, it's only giving us food items and ruins which can only be used in Harmony Island and the arena. It's like... Come on, at least give us something else, like, like give us something different, why be so boring? But anyways, as you guys can see, um... Alright guys, so anyways, that's all for this video, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please do make sure to destroy that subscribe button, give this video a humongous thumbs up, and well, type anything you want in the comment section down below. Anyways, I'll be catching you all next time, one Dr. Genius out the house. Bye and have a good time. Today, I promise that I'm never fell this way. I really hope that you will choose to stay through what Okie dokie, here we go in a battle against our opponents. And as you guys can see, it seems like our opponents have some pets in game, which I still haven't figured out where on earth you get them from. Anyways, let's go and cast our spell supernova onto them and quickly obliterate them. Because obviously you guys know we're trying to win this battle at the speed of light. Yeah, okay, here we go. I actually hope that those pets in the background, they do not die, because I do want to see what type of pets there are, their names and their health at least, that's what I want to know. Anyways, let's cast our spell over here, dealing 9k damage to everybody. Okay, that's quite nice, it seems like none of our opponent's pets did die at all. So I guess we'll be able to knock them out later on, but first let's obliterate our opponent's wizard, because that guy can deal a lot of damage and that too very quickly. And we don't want that, we don't want our opponent to deal damage, and they're about to get one-shotted. Well, so is the rest of their team, so it's futile. It's a futile effort to heal up your team, if you're not going to heal them up all the way. And like, if you take 9k damage in a single attack, I guess the best way, best thing you guys can do next is by attacking your opponent. Right, yeah, because if you take 9k in a single attack, you know you're either only going to last 2 attacks if you have an attack bonus team, or you're going to last 3 or 4 of those attacks. Like, unless you have like, defense reduction, 60% or something like that, it's going to deal a lot, and I mean a lot. Damage, a lot of damage. Okie dokie, let's click that okay button and cast our spell on top of our opponent who seems to be a tortoise. It's literally a tortoise ice. Huh. These guys are based on tortoises and at max health they seem to have 13,000 health. I don't think they have any damage bonuses equipped because, well, we can check, but it seems to be pretty cool. But I've actually answered all of my spells correct. We will attack our opponent just like that, dealing a pretty healthy 9k damage to our opponents and now that we've won our battle what you will observe is that well first of all we've surpassed thousand we've gotten ourselves bronze one okay that's nice very nice indeed 